Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about a tax saving strategy that's used by professionals and business owners. However, it's not used by a lot. My estimate is used by very few and that's because this strategy is not talked about a lot and it's not offered everywhere. You have to have a sense of the companies that do offer this strategy. Now, a lot of you might be wondering, is this life insurance? Is this annuities? Is this some type of unique ETF? No, it's not. Um, we'll talk about that shortly. My name is Anthony Gordon. I'm a certified financial planner. Once a week, what I do is I look at files or um, that I'm working on or conversations I've had in the past week. And I come here, turn the camera on for 10, 15 minutes. I kind of talk about it, share it with the world. And hopefully you could benefit from that in one way or the other. So let's get going. What's this strategy? What's this product? What are you talking about? Is this just all hype of, you know, well, it's actually corporate class mutual funds. And you might be saying it's a mutual fund. Ah, uh, okay, we've heard this before. Well, it's not your typical mutual fund. Your typical mutual fund are usually structured as trust, while a corporate class mutual funds are unique and they're structured uh, for tax efficiency. Specifically, they're set up as corporations and they are encompass various mutual fund classes. So what this allows for is diversified investment strategies and it allows for tax efficient frameworks, which we will talk about. Let's talk about the tax efficient strategy. So first of all, it allows you to switch between different funds, avoiding capital gains tax. Now, normally, if you move from one fund to the next, if you're structured in a trust, like a more you know typical regular mutual fund, which is in a trust, what will happen is there's capital gains that gets triggered there, right? Uh, and if capital gains gets triggered, then what happens is obviously there's a you know potential tax consequence there, right? If it's their gain, then you have to pay the gains to loss, then you know you you're able to use that capital gain loss. In many instances, though, it will be a gain, and so you have potential gains that you'll have to pay. Well, here's the thing. If you're structured in a mutual fund, that is a corporate class mutual funds, you could make those transfers between those funds, or you could even realign your portfolio without triggering any type of capital gain, which preserve investment growth potential. So instead of paying out and have the taxes annually, it stays within the corporation. You're not paying taxes on that growth, and that growth allows for opportunity for your investment to compound. Here's another thing. If you think about um, the different types of income that we could have, we could earn interest income, dividend income, and capital gains. If you're gonna say which one's the best and most prefer preferential, it's always gonna be capital gains, then it's gonna be dividends, and lastly, you have interest income, right? So here's the thing, what you want is more capital gains, and you wanna have uh, fewer dividend and interest income Know, showing up on your tax bill, right? So the corporation allows you to balance expenses and losses from one fund against another dividend and interest income, which means if you have dividend interest income, dividend and interest income, and you have expenses, you could offset that, right? So that allows you for one, the corporate class allows you to have tax efficiency. So you move when you're realigning your portfolios, but now it allows for cost efficiency. So expenses that come in, you could use to offset the type of income that you really don't want, which is the dividend and interest income, right? Preserving the capital gains. So when you do go to pull money from that fund, it's treated as capital gains, right? So it allows for that flexibility and allows for, you know, market changes where you could realign your portfolio. And obviously it, in most cases, will align with your personal goals, right? Because you want to have your funds grow in the in the in, in the most tax efficient and cost efficient way. No, you're gonna say, "Oh, this is amazing! I have some RSPs. Could I do the corporate class and RSPs? Could I put it in TFSA as well?" It really makes sense for non-registered accounts, right? So if you have non-registered accounts, if you max out RSPs, you max out TFSAs, then it's non-registered registered account is where you're gonna use a corporate class. Or you could be a business owner and, you know, you don't take a salary, right? So if you don't take a salary, then, you know, f for many instances, you're not going to have the the, um, the RSP contribution room. And so you're putting everything in TFSAs and non-reg. Well, if you have that non-reg, you max out TFSAs. I know you have that non-reg where you're putting 
uh, assets in. You want to look at corporate class and see if it makes sense from a tax efficient and cost efficient way, right? It's ideal for long-term investment strategies. It's not like you're putting in and pulling, pulling out because if you do, then you're triggering the capital gains anyway, which defeats the whole purpose. So one, you want to think about the long-term strategies, how it works. Here's another thing. You could use this if you have a corporation and you have investment within your corporation because again it's a non-registered account which you could take advantage of a corporate class as a corporate entity with investments right so what we have we have people who have maxed out rsps and tfsas generally or more high net worth clients we have business owners who are taking a not taking a salary so they don't have the contribution room you got to invest in a non-reg anyway so there's an opportunity there or you have investment in your corporation, right? So that allows for tax efficiency. Um, so these are individuals that would benefit from that. Now, you might say, okay, great, where could I get this? Well, I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend that you sit with a financial planner uh, who can sit with you and look at the portfolio and make sense. It's one thing to have it be a tax efficient portfolio. Um, but another thing is what if the performance doesn't make sense? What if it doesn't align with your risk tolerance, right? What if it, it doesn't align with your goals? <laughs> you retire next year or the year after it might not make sense, right? So what I strongly recommend is reach out to your financial planner, uh, ask them about corporate class mutual funds, have them explain it to you and then see if it makes sense for you. Uh, I just know that most folks have no idea this thing exists. And uh, in the past, I've seen it save clients tons of money. It's a great opportunity and a great, um, a great tool to have uh, as a conversation piece to see if it fits within your plan. Hopefully this was beneficial. Um, again, if it is, like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you next week. Take care.